I'm back, bitches. <coughs> oh, that hurts. Hello, folks. Denobi2 here. A little celebration video. Get it? Star Wars celebration. Ah, look at that. Ian McDermott holding the Emperor. The Emperor is back. I'm excited. Star Wars fever has hit me hard, and I decided to revisit revisit the Hot Toys Emperor. I love this guy. This guy is cool. He's fun to pose. He's fun to play with. And my plan was always to go back and experiment with his lightning effect force. Going back to the trailer that was released uh, today, uh, one scene that uh, sticks out is the Death Star. The Death Star and that cackling sound of the Emperor. I'm like, oh my god, the Death Star is back. The Emperor is back. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be awesome. This is gonna be really, really neat. For a lo for, for for you folks out there who aren't aware, JJ is, uh, is clearly directed this one because he mentions in the art of the Force Awakens book in the first film that the Death Star was always going to have a presence. And uh, I just want to kind of uh, go through the art book here, but uh, he was fascinated with the Death Star and the fact that because he's back, we get to see the Death Star, you know, revisited. The, the Palpatine is revisited. Uh, the, the Death Star is revisited. That's really cool. I mean, this is really neat. Uh, this is some serious, heavy, heavy fan service. And there's a few photos here I want to show you before I get to the Hot Toys Palpatine. Is uh, this right here. Look at that. The Death Star rising from the sand. I mean, he really, really was like fixated with the Death Star. I'm like, so am I. I'm like, Death Star is cool. <laughs> Death Star is awesome. <laughs> And then the other shot is uh, uh, parts of the Death Star when it when it exploded. Uh, parts of it fell back into the moon of Endor, and there's a scene here where the Falcon is underwater, uh, revisiting the Emperor's Tower because they're looking for something. They're looking for a MacGuffin, an artifact. They're looking for something specific, and you can see, oh, look at that beautiful photo. Look at that, the Emperor's chair. And I don't know who that is or what they had planned to uh, with the storyboard photo here, but. This this image here underwater, going back to the forest moon of Endor, is just badass. So, I I don't know if we go to the the forest moon of Endor, but I mean, who knows? This photo here uh, is part inspiration for uh, Disney Galaxy, the uh, expanded land over at uh, Walt Disney World Disneyland. So that's kind of cool. Anyway. Let's get back to the Emperor here. This is this is what uh, we're here for. So this fluorescent paint here, I ended up buying, bought it at Walmart. It's pretty cheap. Bottles were, I think this uh, this six pack here it was uh, eight bucks, I think. And the plan was, the uh, the, the plan was is that uh, I would uh, take the fluorescent paint and dab it and experiment it with the lightning effect force that Hot Toys. Uh, 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 gave us these are the two black lights these black lights are really cheap by the way these are a ten dollars a tube at Walmart so uh, really really nice and uh, right before I started to paint the uh, effects onto the lightning hot toys blessed us uh, with uh, with some glow action on here check this out so it looks like I don't have to paint fluorescent paint onto the lightning effects it it glows. Look at that. I mean, I'm not doing that. I mean, look at that. That's like real cool black light and effect. I'm like, oh, this is neat. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. It's badass. Very, very badass. You can't see the Emperor's face on, on that on this shot, but look at the bottles of a fluorescent paint. I'm like, oh, this is really neat. So, for those of you who, who aren't aware, uh, uh, my room, I'm kind of breaking things down. I'm changing my, my studio. I'm going to have uh, a professional custom display and I'm gonna have a black box that's devoted to black lighting where I can uh, um, put certain characters that are black light sensitive and knowing that uh, the Emperor uh, can benefit from this effect is gonna be really cool the hands there I dabbed blue fluorescent paint because I wanted to right there that's the it's like a blue fluorescent which kind of goes because I wanted his hands to kind of give it that eerie ghost-like effect and it came out really 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 nice so 
this is me. I'm kind of doing my preliminary work. I, I want to see what certain hot toy char what certain hot toy characters are black light sensitive. And this is like I said, this blew me away. All oh, the lightning effect. It looks like there's LEDs stuck in his little fingertips. Like this is this is badass. This is gonna look really really cool. <laughs> this is gonna look really really nice. Again, this is what I see. What you folks are seeing is it is a completely different experience. I opened the aperture as, as much as I could to kind of give it that glow effect uh, without uh, hurting the image. But uh, overall, I think you get the idea. Is the light in effect with the black light works really really good. Now, what you don't see in the camera, but I see, and it's hurt, and it's bugging the hell out of me, are the uh, white little speckles of, of dust. And I have my little uh, blower here, uh, which you can get on Amazon if you want your own blower. It's like 40 bucks. Link is in the description. And this is, I use this all the time on my Iron Man figures, hot toy, especially hot toy figures that have fabric. Oh my god, this, this little electric 2.0 cleaner blower is phenomenal, worth every cent worth every every penny especially with the die cast suits oh my god it's a pain in the ass pain in the ass but yeah it's the compu cleaner 2.0 there's there's a link in the description takes you directly to amazon you can pick it up this is me recreating darth vader throwing uh mr palpatine down the shaft oh light kind of turned off there kind of just maybe i can use darth vader i i Overall, I don't like the effect that uh, Darth Vader does not benefit from the black light, so I'm not going to end up using him in the display that I have planned. But Emperor there, look at it, look at his face. Look at that, look at that mug on his face. He's like, he's like, I'm back, bitches. <laughs> um, since I decided to go crazy with the black light effect, I grabbed uh, Doctor Strange's uh, sword here, and I added uh, orange fire effect. Uh, fluorescent paint and it came and it looks awesome it looks just as cool I, you can see the specs on my hand i didn't let it dry because i was impatient i wanted to see if it would work and i'm like oh this is really neat this looks like it's on fire so doctor strange can also benefit from the black light effect i thought that was pretty neat i'm like oh man. i mean it looks like it's on fire it looks just as cool as it in person uh the rocket thrusters for an iron suit uh kind of dabbed on that fire effect looks gorgeous looks awesome and i forgot what suit this is. i think this is the iron man tank i think it's the tank i don't know i forgot this is from the iron man 3 uh house party protocol i just wanted to see if it, if it would look cool and it, and it does it does have that fire effect like it's about to thrust off and, and fire off so i like it looks really nice the Doctor Strange sword looks really, really nice. And then I had some other little Chachki Iron Man uh, parts that I was kind of experimenting with, which kind of looks good, but doesn't. I, I had a, a clear hand that I dabbed some fluorescent green paint on it to kind of see if it looks good, just to, to see if maybe I could uh, add a, a suit. This is the Neon Tech. I This is gonna be, this was, this particular figure is what inspired me to like, all right, I'm going to build a black light display for certain hot toy figures and uh i i kind of feel like this neon tech suit could kind of use a more of a, a fluorescent paint job uh easy if you're out there let me know if it's possible easy collectibles easy collectibles can it be done can the neon tech benefit from a fluorescent paint job let me know dude anyway a little quick fun video star wars fever star wars mania uh overall i actually i do look forward to episode nine the emperor's back the emperor gives his blessing it's gonna be a good film i don't know 